Hello and welcome to Dan Makes Things. My name's Dan and today I have something a little different for you. The folks over at Microlink have very kindly sent me their LM249 MS Digital Microscope to help with my project. In this video I'll be unboxing the microscope, setting it up and giving you my first impressions. I'll also be using this microscope in future videos to inspect PCBs and assist with SMD soldering, so keep an eye out for that. The microscope comes in strong packaging with assembly instructions included in English that are clear and simple to follow. The microscope itself comes well packaged in a sturdy cardboard box with foam and cardboard inserts for protection. The microscope and accessories are well protected and easy to remove from the box. You can see the various accessories and the microscope itself. There is an HDMI cable to attach to an external monitor. The power USB cable plugs into a USB-A port and then connects to the microscope and lights via an inline switch with dimmer capability. The microscope itself is attached permanently to the monitor. An included remote control allows to capture images and adjust various things without disturbing the microscope itself. There's a second cable that can be used to power the microscope only without the lights. The microscope can be powered via USB or with the included power adapter. An unbranded SD card is included for storing images. There are various slides and accessories included for use with the microscope, which we'll talk about a little later. The additional lenses are stored safely in a plastic container. The included slides can be viewed by placing them on this backlit platform. Removing the rest of the packaging, we can see the microscope mount and also the base unit with two integrated lights. Assembling the microscope is simple and only takes a few minutes. The instructions are clear and easy to follow. 
first we take the support arm and screw this directly into the base platform. The screw fit is good and feels secure. There is a safety ring on the arm to prevent the microscope dropping during adjustment. And then above that you can attach the mounting arm. Once the mounting arm is attached, we need to unscrew the lens from the microscope, then slide the scope into the mounting arm and secure it with the included screws. It's a little difficult to film this step, but you can see here the attachment point and the screws. Once the microscope is in place, we can reattach the lens and secure with the provided screws. There are two gripping points on the base, which can be attached with spring-loaded screws. These can be used to hold thin objects in place for inspection. The slide viewing platform can be plugged in to power the backlight with the provided cable. The microscope itself is powered with a micro USB and has a slot for the SD card provided. There's also a mini HDMI port for connecting to an external monitor. Next I connect the power for the integrated lights on the base. You can see here the lights can be adjusted using the inline switch. This also powers the microscope. There are multiple controls to adjust the position of the microscope, including fine control and focus. When the lights are enabled, 
the screen should power up and display the image from the microscope. You can see here with the first 240 times magnification lens, the output when I place the new Raspberry Pi 5 under the microscope for inspection. The ability to adjust the focus, position and lighting gives a lot of flexibility in viewing options. There's also the option to capture images from the microscope using a button on the screen and even a remote control so that the images can be captured without disturbing the microscope. This is especially useful for the 2040 times lens where any slight movement can cause the image to blur. You can also view the stored images on the microscope itself or remove the SD card for upload onto a computer. Removing the lens, we can then attach the 720 magnification lens for a closer inspection. The 720 lens is much more powerful and allows for a much closer inspection of the board. You can see that as the lenses change, the position and focus needs to be adjusted as well. Each lens specifies the focus range printed on the lens itself, so it's easy to adjust as needed. I've included the output of some of these images on the post I've made at makerforge.tech, so take a look if you're interested in seeing the captured output, link in the description. The 2040 magnification lens is significantly more powerful and suitable for viewing slides and other small objects. The microscope comes with a slide mount that can be used to hold the slides in place and has a built-in light source. The focus range is very close, so it takes a little while to adjust the microscope as needed.
Here I'm using one of the example slides included in the microscope to test, but you can easily create your own slides to view. This is a pine stem cross section, and you can see the detail is incredible. The second slide is a bee wing. What look like the individual hairs are clearly visible. Overall, the Link Micro LM249 MS Digital Microscope is a great choice for anyone looking for a versatile microscope that can meet a variety of needs. I'll be using this microscope more in future for PCB detail work and other projects. As a first time user of a digital microscope, I found the process of assembly and use to be incredibly simple. I was able to get started in a few minutes and was able to capture images with ease. I'm very happy with the quality of the device, especially considering the affordability. The microscope is available from Amazon, link in the description. If there's something you'd like me to test under the microscope, send me a message on the community and I'll see what I can do. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.